what is the Pythagorean theorem and who came up with it? The single theorem that most people remember from their grade school math classes is the Pythagorean theorem. Put simply, the theorem states that the squares of the lengths of the legs of a right triangle are equal to the square of the hypotenuse of that triangle. It is a simple yet extremely useful theorem in mathematics. So, who exactly was Pythagoras and how did he contrive this important theorem? Well, Pythagoras was one of the most interesting men in the world 2,500 years ago. Pythagoras was born on the Greek island of Samos around 570 BC, the son of a traveling salesman. He was widely recognized to be a very gifted young man, but details of his youth are sketchy. Upon reaching adulthood, he is said to have traveled to Egypt, where he studied with the priests, wise men, and the mathematicians of the great Egyptian empire. When the Babylonians invaded Egypt in the 6th century BC, Pythagoras is believed to have been taken to Babylon, where he allegedly spent the next several years of his life. Similar to his time in Egypt, he is said to have studied with leading mathematicians and scribes, as well as with mystics and religious leaders. According to historians, Pythagoras returned home around the age of 50. Once home, he established his own religious brotherhood in what is now southern Italy. His secret of brotherhood was renowned for their wisdom and love of knowledge. They centered their ideology around the worship and meaning of numbers. They believed that numbers were everything and the math could explain anything in the universe. In Pythagoras' time, the Greeks did not have a written number system, but rather used figurate numbers. In addition to math, Pythagoras was well known as one of the leading philosophers of his day. He also discovered mathematical ratios that have shaped tonal music. A man of diverse skills and knowledge, Pythagoras truly was the most interesting man in the world in his day. So, when in his lifetime did Pythagoras come up with that handy theorem? Well, the truth of the matter is that there is no evidence to show that he had anything to do with finding the theorem. Pythagoras and his followers didn't write a lot of things down. Nevertheless, it is evident that his followers were aware of the concept regarding right triangles. So, if Pythagoras didn't come up with it, then who did? Well, the Babylonians were likely the most mathematically advanced society prior to the Greeks. In 1945, archaeologists deciphered a Babylonian tablet dating to over 1,000 years before the time of Pythagoras, which indicated that the Babylonians were definitely aware that a squared plus b squared equaled c squared in regards to right triangles. However, this knowledge appears to have been lost during later periods in Babylonian history. In addition, there is evidence that the ancient Egyptians used Pythagorean triples to measure land. We know that by the 2nd century BC, the theorem was widely associated with Pythagoras. Many have speculated that perhaps the Pythagoreans were the first to prove the theorem. However, the idea of a mathematical proof did not exist before Euclid published his elements 200 years after Pythagoras. Over the centuries, more than 300 proofs have been published of the Pythagorean theorem, including one by President James Garfield. So, to answer the question of where the Pythagorean theorem originated, we simply do not know, and likely will never know. What we do know is that it likely did not originate with the man whose name it bears, despite his being one of the most interesting men in world history.